Money functions as a widely accepted medium of exchange in transactions involving goods and services, and can exist in different forms, such as physical currency like banknotes and coins, digital currency such as cryptocurrencies, or bank deposits. It provides a store of value, unit of account, and means of payment, allowing individuals and businesses to conduct trade without the need for bartering or exchanging goods. The value of money is usually determined by the demand and supply, as well as the stability and confidence in the economy and government that issues it. When was money first created? Money has undergone an extensive evolution spanning thousands of years, and its inception is rooted in the necessity of human societies to streamline trade and commerce. During early human societies, bartering was the predominant means of exchanging goods and services. However, bartering had its limitations since it required a coincidence of wants between the two parties involved in the transaction. For instance, if a farmer wanted to exchange his wheat for a cow from a herder, he needed to locate a herder who was interested in wheat and ready to part with a cow. This process was tedious and inefficient. To overcome these limitations, different forms of money were developed throughout history. Commodity money was the first known form of money, consisting of objects that had value in themselves, such as gold, silver, and salt. Commodity money was valuable because it was scarce and had high demand for use in trade and commerce. The exact origin of money is not known, as it predates written history. However, it is believed that the concept of money emerged around 3000 BC in ancient Mesopotamia and Egypt, where commodity money was used for trade and commerce. The first recorded use of paper money was in China during the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 C. Evolution of Money The history of money dates back thousands of years and has evolved over time. 1. Bartering In the past, bartering was the earliest way of trading. This involved the exchange of goods and services between parties without the use of money. However, it posed a challenge as it required a mutual desire or need for the items being traded between the two parties involved. Commodity money, around 3000 BC, a medium of exchange known as commodity money came into existence. This form of money was made up of items that held intrinsic value, such as silver, gold, and salt. Commodity money scarcity, and its high demand for use in trade and commerce gave it significant worth. Commodity money, which consisted of precious metals such as gold and silver were utilized as a medium of exchange due to their inherent value, ease of recognition, and transportability. Many ancient societies, including Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, utilized commodity money. Metal coins Metal coins were first introduced in Lydia, now Turkey, in the 7th century BC. Coins standardized the weight and purity of money, making it easier to use in trade and commerce. Coins were made of precious metals like gold and silver, and had an intrinsic value that made them valuable to trade. Paper money. During the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 C. In China, paper money was utilized for the first time. This form of currency was advantageous as it was more convenient to carry and transport compared to coins, and it also facilitated larger transactions. Fiat money. Fiat money is backed by a country's government instead of a physical commodity or financial instrument. This means most coin and paper currencies that are used throughout the world are fiat money. This includes the US dollar, the British pound, the Indian rupee, and the euro. Government-issued fiat money banknotes were used first during the 11th century in China. Fiat money started to predominate during the 20th century. Since President Richard Nixon's decision to suspend US dollar convertibility to gold in 1971, a system of national fiat currencies has been used globally. The issuance of fiat money by governments, a currency not backed by any commodity but by the government's declaration of its worth, began. The value of fiat money is upheld because the government guarantees that it can be used to settle taxes and other debts. 6. Electronic Money 
the increasing popularity of digital technology has brought about a surge in the use of electronic money, which encompasses credit cards, debit cards, and other forms of digital payment. Electronic money offers the benefits of convenience and security, and allows for quick and efficient completion of transactions. Cryptocurrencies The year 2009 saw the introduction of Bitcoin, which marked the first cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are digital assets that utilize cryptography to safeguard transactions and regulate the production of new units. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized and function autonomously from central banks. They are gaining momentum as a payment and investment option. Money has been a crucial factor in the advancement of societies and economies over time. Its role extends beyond just exchanging goods and services, as it also functions as a store of value. Money facilitates trade and commerce, and it funds extensive projects such as research and infrastructure. As societies have evolved, the purpose of money has changed as well. In ancient times, money was primarily used for trading and commerce. It helped promote economic growth by enabling the exchange of goods and services. With time, as societies became more intricate, money took on additional roles. It served as a means of accumulating wealth and financing wars and large-scale projects. In modern times, money has become more sophisticated and multifaceted. It is used to finance businesses and investments, playing a vital role in the global economy. Trading of money occurs on financial markets. and it is also used to invest in a wide range of financial instruments, such as stocks and bonds. To sum up, money has a rich and intricate past that has progressed over time, from commodity money to digital currency. Its significance in the advancement of societies and economies has been critical. Money is used for various purposes, such as enabling trade and commerce, storing wealth, and financing extensive projects. As technology advances, the function of money will continue to evolve, and new forms of currency will arise.